Welcome to a new LP of mine, which will probably go alongside Sonic Generations and Skyward Sword. Let's play Super Meat Boy. Why am I doing this? <laughs> this is a hard as nails platformer made for the Xbox Live Arcade and PC. Made by... The SRB, yes. <laughs> made by... Wait for it. Auto saving, yes. I understand. Made by Team Meat. So let us play Super Meat Boy. Super Meat Boy, okay. So we are going to start off with Chapter 1 The Forest with a cutscene. If you can't tell, that was a reference to, that was a reference to Street Fighter 2. So, let us start this game off with, hello world, as me boy. Um, let's read this. Can you use the analog stick to move, X or A to run, and then press A to jump. So, and this explains wall jumping. Just keep doing this and you can win. And that's basically the only controls in this game. So yeah, I can honestly really speedrun this, but I am definitely not going for 100%. Because this game, difficult as balls <laughs> at points, but it has a very nice difficulty curve. So if you know how to play this game, you can easily breeze through this world and most of the second world so I and there's and if you get an A plus you can unlock the dark world version of the stage which is a practically the same stage just with higher difficulty and more traps but uh safety third hooray and now we're on the levy the levy the levy but I will try and show off the unlockable characters as hard as their stages may be. But, um... And first death! Hoorah! And these are crumbling platforms. But mostly this first world is pathetically easy. So, just... What you want to do... Or, there I go with what you want to do now is, but you can see this. And Warp Zone! If you've played the Bit Trip series, you should know who this is. Not not her, that's Bandage Girl. <laughs> yep, see, he's part of the Matrix. You know it. This is... Commander Video from Bit Trip Runner. Er... He's from all the BitTrip games. But for this guy, you can float, and that's basically it. That's his gimmick. And what you have to do is... Basically, beat a few stages and epileptics turn away. <laughs> I wonder how many people have, ep have gotten epileptic seizures from this game now. But... What you have to do is basically go through a few trials with the character to basically show that you're ready to unlock it. But this first one's pathetically easy, but and basically doing that you unlock him. But on the next one, which is Tonda's Cabin. What the heck did I just say? <laughs> and these are bandages, which I do not think I have gotten this one yet. Or maybe I have. And you have to collect the bandage and then not die. <laughs> Difficult. Well, that was that was all matrix. And just run on through here. Level complete, and you got a bandage too. And I think this stage had a bandage, but I think I already collected it. But I have beaten this game before, or at least all the light world levels. But 
I know I am definitely not capable of doing the Dark World. So. But. Whoosh! And another great A. I've gotten a great A on practically all of the stages in World 1. I think most of them on World 2. But next, I think this is the last level. No. We're on only 17 out of 20. If you can't tell, all of these levels are short, but most of the time, very difficult. But wow! <laughs> Speed running! Intermission. And if you want to know a shortcut, just do this. Be careful here, because if you can't tell, saws will kill you. So basically, the main enemy of this game is the guy who keeps kidnapping Bandage Girl, who is named Dr. Fetus. And I don't think I've ever gotten that bandage either. That was close! <laughs> and come on. And as I explained, as I've explained before, <laughs> but as I explained before, these platforms crumble. And now let us move on to the boss, Little Slugger. <laughs> and if it'll load, there we go. Here's the first boss of the game, which is Little Slugger, which does, is not a really sensical name, but basically all you do here is run from the boss, but I do love this boss theme, so I might stick around and wait. I will not, probably won't get very far, but... That was awkward. Wait for the dark sense of humor in three, two, one. Yeah! You can tell what the humor of this game is now, can't you? So, now that we're done with Little Slugger, we can move on to World 2, The Hospital. So, I will see you guys on the next episode.